Time to talk some real estate. Faisal Panjwani is here. Hello. Hey, how are you? I am so good, and thank you very much for all the great advice you've given no me problem. sitting right here on this very couch, because it can be very confusing when you're talking mortgages, because if you don't, I mean, everybody can look at a house or a condo and say, I want that, but how do I get that, especially in this market? What's the... What's the deal with pre-approved mortgages? So, Jody, we often find that people make the mistake of getting a basic pre-qualification rather than a, than a full pre-approval, and a lot of times it's because they don't know that there's a difference. What's the difference? Now, a basic pre-qualification will just give you a rough idea as to approximately how much you'd qualify based on income and debt, and then you get a rate hold. There's no paperwork that's been reviewed at all. On the other hand, what you should really get is a full pre-approval, and what a full pre-approval is is a full application. You, uh, you're submitting income documents documentation right. in writing and then a credit check is done based on all that information we're able to let you know exactly how much a mortgage you qualify for and then you can go out and shop with confidence and in the type of market we're in right now where it's really brisk it's important to have that pre-approval because you're not only showing your realtor but you're showing the seller that you're qualified and you can thus act quickly okay let's talk about the seller's market you're going in what is the number if I'm coming to you and sitting down and saying okay I'd like to get pre-approved for my mortgage here's all the stuff that I have here's kind of the the ballpark of what I want to spend then I get into this bidding war so what we're finding is that a lot of people are getting really frustrated they're thinking well I'm not going to get the home that I want unless I go in without any conditions right. now even with a pre-approval you have to be really careful because the pre-approval has approved you as the individual. Your income and credit is checked, but the property still has to qualify. So you have to make sure that there's no issues with the property. Obviously, the lender wants to make sure that A, property's in good condition, and even more important, that the value of the property is there, that you're not overpaying for that property. If it's a strata, for example, they yep. want even more information. They'll say, I want to look at the strata me meeting minutes. I want to look at other documentation to make sure there's no problems with the complex as well. Which is, without subjects, is such an easy term to just throw around, but yep. Without subjects means you, there could be you, all you kinds of damage. It. So my suggestion yeah. would be, if at all possible, try to have at least one condition in there to protect yourself. The one we see most often is subject to satisfactory inspection. Satisfactory inspection. Okay, that makes right. sense. Now, once you are pre-approved for a mortgage, that longer form that you've already had the credit check and you're, yeah. and you've done the paperwork and you and you're there. Yeah. How long is that good for? So most pre-approvals are good for 90 to 120 days. Okay. And they protect you from rates going up. So in the event rates drop, you can get the benefit of the rate drop. But one thing to keep in mind is, let's say if you're 90 days into 120 day pre-approval, you think you're gonna need a little bit more time, just contact your mortgage broker, ask him or her to reset that pre-approval, effectively buying you another 120 days from that point on. And how much time, lead time do you need to do that? Uh, you can well, like you know what, before it expires like you don't you, you, you know what a lot of times if there's no change in rates there's no real reason to reset it okay but, you know if you think that you're going to need more time for sure or if you think that rates are on their way up it makes sense to reset it by yourself some more time how much are we budgeting when we're getting pre-approved for our mortgage for uh sort of hidden costs or things beyond the so, price of a property. So when you're when you're getting a full pre-approval, your mortgage worker is going to run through everything with you, most of your right. of your costs. And when you're selling, obviously, the big one you have you need to make sure your budget for is real estate commissions. The other one is, do you have a mortgage penalty? If so, find out exactly how much it is up front. On the purchase side, over and above regular legal inspection, possibly appraisal costs, your, um, your big one is property transfer tax. That's a big one That's that you get hit by and you don't even know it's coming and you're like, wait yeah. a second, you can get all of this information and much more. Yourmortgageexpert.ca is where you find Faisal. Thank you for being here.